what's up everybody it's me erica it's friday let me wipe this thing off it's friday girl some of us have jobs and some of us have shit to do you know what i'm saying to you baby to you to us to love they say um, young jock wants um custody of his kids because Jeannie mai is um Girl, it sounds so stupid what he said. The reason why he wants custody of this child. First of all, a lot of these niggas just want custody so they don't have to pay child support. That's number one. That's number one. Again, they don't want to take care of the children. They want children because if in their life they don't accomplish anything else, there is they were still able to find somebody to duplicate them. So I don't have to accomplish anything else in life. I don't have to do nothing else in life. As long as I can find a woman or two or three or 15 to duplicate me, I don't have to do nothing else in life because the way these women are socialized, I am a potential partner to all of them. I'm a potential husband to all of them. I'm a potential father to all of them. All of them see me as potential. I don't have to do nothing else but exist and they will come to me. Even if I, have shown or the Yelp reviews are out, they will still give me a chance. Am I lying? Okay, I'm not lying. So don't get mad at me. Get mad at how, how the social engineering, get, get mad at the engineers. Don't get mad at me for calling out the fucking play. Let's, let's listen to why Jeezy wants full custody of his daughter. This is from the Jasmine brand. Primary custody, Jeezy files for primary custody of his daughter with Jeannie Mai. Claims TV personality is unable to care for her two-year-old due to her busy schedule. It says rap star Jeezy is seeking to have his young daughter live with him full time. Mm -mm. Absolutely not. I'm, pull, I'm, pulling, I'm pulling rap lyrics on this one, judge. I sure am. I'm bringing rap lyrics. I sure am. I am. He's not safe. Sorry. Yeah, I thought he was going to be safe. I, you know, they tell us protectors and providers and we get these men close to us and they ain't shit. So we decide we want to leave. But guess what? You say you want full custody of my, my baby. My baby? Oh. Okay. Let me bring these rap lyrics in here. We can talk about how you came into your money, Jay Wayne. Oh. <sighs> Reportedly, Jay Wayne, Jeezy Jenkins, asked in the documents for the court judge to toss out their prior custody arrangement, which gave Jeannie Mai primary custody of their daughter, Monaco, too. While the rapper had visitations, Jeezy alleged in the new filing that the former host of The Real is barely with the child due to her hectic work schedule. Right, because she's a solo parent. She's a solo parent. She has to work to make sure that her child is provided for because she has a responsibility. While you're trying to get out of the responsibility by asking for primary custody, she's working a lot because she has primary custody and has a child that she has to take care of and make sure she can have a future for. Jeezy alleged in the new filing that the former host of The Real is barely with the child due to her hectic work schedule and claimed that she often leaves care for Monaco in the hands of her brother and mother. God forbid she has a goddamn village. God forbid she has help to help her raise her child. God forbid. That's the one thing you motherfuckers don't have. What all of these other immigrant families have in common, they stay to fucking gather. And we make sure you don't isolate our daughter and sister. We and she, we come over almost every fucking day. Yeah, nigga. That's why you didn't want the mama and dad and the brother in the house. Because you wouldn't have been able to terrorize Jeannie the way you really wanted to terrorize her for choosing you. Yeah, to get back at you for actually choosing him because he really knows deep down inside he ain't no good. That's why these motherfuckers be ter terrorizing y'all. Because they know in real life nobody should have chose them. Nobody should have duplicate them. And now they resent you because how stupid could you be to partner with me, woman, knowing good and goddamn well I ain't shit. 
So now I'm going to make your life a living hell because I know deep down I ain't shit. Additionally, the sole survivor rapper stated that despite agreeing to move to the basement after their split, Jeannie Mai still moved out of the marital home they shared, taking Monaco with her. Why the fuck would you have her move to the basement with a child? This is just, it's getting worse, sir, as I read this. And I can't wait to read the comments. God forbid she has a brother. God forbid she has a mother that can watch. And that's why these niggas are able to get as close as you two. They, 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 they talk shit about you not having your father around, but it gives them a way to get access to you and harm you because they know there's nobody around. I need to stop looking to your greatest threat as your protectors. Stop it. How the fuck she's going to move into the fucking basement with her baby, with her baby. Maybe that baby's name will be Monaco Mai in a fucking heartbeat. I'm taking Jenkins off. This ain't your goddamn baby. This is not your baby. This is my fucking baby. And fuck you. You don't even have to pay child support. As a matter of fact, don't pay shit. As a matter of fact, relinquish your parental rights, nigga. Let's just, let's just go all the way out and do it like that. So you don't have to have no say. So you can't control me through this child. Fuck you. Jeannie's ultimate, the music artist said the separation has given Jeannie ultimate control over when he can and can't spend time with their child, which he claimed has been problematic as a TV personality has allegedly been, allegedly been withholding the parenting time for two months. Go to court and tell him. If she's been withholding parenting time, go to court and tell him. The recent, the recent custody back and forth between the co-parents is the only latest issue in their ongoing divorce settlement, as we previously covered. And that's what you motherfucking girls get. You non-black girls who running around here thinking you got you a motherfucking prize because the black girls made the niggas trend. And so you think it's trendy to go get you a big black, black cock and then you end up a single mother looking crazy down to the internet because he didn't did you the way he did everybody else. You thought you was different. You couldn't even say Mary two years. You thought you was going to be different. What made you think, oh, he told you? What, what in his actions of the previous women he had children with and did not marry? Oh, you thought the ring meant something. Oh, you thought the aisle he walked down was going to change. Oh, you thought that dress was going to change something. Oh. Jeezy had a joke for you. He had a trick up his motherfucking ass for you. Then you don't want the mama and the daddy. You know how groups of immigrant groups of people are, especially Asian people. They stick together. Latin people stick together. You ain't going to be able to isolate nobody around here. You ain't going to be able to take our daughter off nowhere in the deep south anywhere. Goddamn, we're from the Bay. You ain't taking our daughter to the south and put her in a fucking basement. Get the fuck out of here. God damn it. That pissed me off. In the basement? I'm leaving. I'm going to my family so we can raise our daughter. We can raise this child. Jeannie Mai, now you down to the internet looking like a damn fool. You didn't read. You thought the Yelp reviews. You thought you was going to have a different dining experience, didn't you? Even though we had a bunch of one-star reviews, you saw preferences. Oh, I'm, I, I'm listed as a preference. Let me go in here and see if I get different treatment. Oh, wait a minute. Looky here, you don't get different treatment. As a matter of fact, you're probably going to get even worse treatment because not only do they resent you for actually picking them, but bitch, didn't you see all the other bitches are fucked over? What the fuck is wrong with you? I'm going to really make your life a living hell. Y'all not going to apply consequences to how these men do women over and over and over again. And then when they get in a relationship with you and make your goddamn life a living hell, you want to look to who? For safety, other women, the women that you told nanny, nanny, boo, boo, I'm my, I'm sitting on Aquafina. My ass is big. I know how to cook. What else did you, what else do you be saying to these niggas that you know how to do? How, what, uh, what other ways of free labor do you let these niggas know that they're going to be able to get out of you if they choose you stupid? You thought that dress was going to do something. Oh, you thought them vows were going to do something. <laughs> You thought he was going to honor his vows? <laughs> I, I, I'm sure he got his tux back to the damn people on time <laughs> before he got a late charge for renting it. Right. 
Yeah, I got something for Judy Mai too. You thought you was gonna be different. You thought you was gonna be a di you thought you was gonna have a different experience. A lot of these non-black girls think they're gonna have a different experience with these raggedy ass, musty ass, tight ass, slow ass, po ass niggas. Tight ass, po ass, raggedy ass, slow Whoa. ass niggas. They really believe that. And then they running around. Now they don't have now, now they're isolated. Remember, I told you there was a girl lived underneath me, a Russian girl with a black dude. When I tell you he terrorized her all day all night sleep depriving her keeping her up all night all i can i would just hear her crying all night all night all night finally the cops showed up you know the cops outside kikiing and laughing with him they allowed him back into the apartment do you know when he went back into apartment he took her money and her cell phone that's the only reason why i know all of that tea is because she came up and asked me because she used the phone because that nigga took his phone and when she called her mother her mother said, I really can't have her over here. You know why? Because her mother was a bitch and had a motherfucking nigga at her, at her fucking house who didn't like her daughter. So now her daughter is out here having babies and living with niggas and then the whole family using her, using her. She told me the way she was telling me that whole niggas family was using the shit out of this little Russian girl. Y'all make the girl, you know, black girls make everything trend. Y'all make y'all act like dumb, goofy fools over dick so guess who else wants to have some to try and see what the dick do and then they disparage women on the way there don't you ever get in a relationship with a man who disparages the people that look like him the women this the black women the black woman the black woman the black woman how many children's mothers does um jeezy have before genie Mai? you thought you got you a prize because you walked down the aisle you thought the aisle meant something you thought the ring meant something you thought the dress meant something oh wait you thought the baby meant something oh but he don't want the community he don't want the village in the house yeah, because he want to terrorize you. Because, bitch, you dumb because you chose him. Now I'm going to terrorize your ass for choosing me, stupid ass. He got about three kids and they never wanted no primary custody. He seems like controlling because Jeannie definitely always, even when working, has that baby right there with her. She has a mother and a brother and other family members who will help her. That is the purpose. Y'all don't want these women to have help. Y'all want them to literally be single mothers with no community. Like that girl said, y'all believe just because they have children and keep another a motherfucker who's terrorizing them around, they deserve uh, punishment for that. And for that, you get no help, no support, no community. And all the while that baby has his fucking last name. Fuck that shit. That's your baby. You gonna have her in the basement? Did I read that right? Did I read that right? Additionally, the sole survivor rapper stated, despite agreeing to move to the basement after their split, hopefully it was him who was moving. He better have moved to the basement. It had better been your basement dwelling ass. It should have been you in the basement, snowman motherfucker she still moved out yeah i'm moving out you got guns hanging around and shit but you you chose him that's the one that you picked you picked him and this is what you get that is why if you ever get pregnant by one of these motherfuckers married or not that is your baby you give the baby your last name otherwise they're going to try to use the baby to control you he is trying to use the baby to, just like this comment said, you ain't never asked for primary custody of, of, of none of your other children. Hey Siri, how many babies does young Jeezy have? The birth of their first child and daughter was announced on January 11th, It says three. Hold on, let me make sure this is the right source. Four children altogether. By how many different women? Is it three different women? He has three children from previous relationships. This is talking about Jeannie Mai and him. And then you're the one that filed for a divorce. Her dumb ass. Oh, girl, I don't even. Girl, let me read some of the comments. 
real quick. <sighs> he don't want to pay child support. Y'all got to hate me for this, but I'm with Jeezy on this. Of course you are. Shocker. Oh my God. Can you believe it? She seems to be using erratic ways for him not to be a father. At this point, the only way he can get his time is if he had custody. He shouldn't be fighting with her mom or brother to see the child they had. Not to mention if they were together, she wouldn't have an issue. Am I the only one who read he ain't been allowed to see his baby in two months? I would have filed for full custody too. So Jeannie can't have a job, basically. He's going to support Jeannie so she can be a full-time stay-at-home mom. Is he going to be a full-time stay-at-home dad and forego his career? She has her mom helping her when she's working. She's not leaving the baby with a stranger. Jeezy, please, and you on the road doing shows just as busy. I, just, I was just at one Saturday. Stop it. Well, we know Granny Mai always near, so that's a lie. How can you not care for your child and get private dressing room and trailer offset? Boy, please. That woman travels with her family and lives with family. Bring the child with you or pay for a nanny. That man is going for full custody of his child and y'all mad? Damn. Damned if you do, damned if you don't. This seems vindictive. Sometimes I hate legal filings are public. I feel like we're in their business too much. You're on a gossip blog. You don't have to be here. Remember y'all glamorized this in the beginning, in the beginning, called it goals. This is why you shouldn't envy anyone's relationship. This is part of the reason why she never wanted to have kids because she wasn't sure she could protect them. And that's what's happening. And that's why Lala on Vanderpump Rules is going to a sperm bank because she wants to make sure she never has to deal with another human being when it comes to her child that is going to utilize and weaponize the child and weaponize custody and do all of those things to make your life a living hell. That's what Randall is doing, the nigga who looked like a little melted Harvey Weinstein. I don't know why you thought that was an upstanding man. When a motherfucker's neck melds into his fucking chin, he is not. He, you better look at him suspect, as a suspect in every crime and every scheme that Todd set up. That's, I, I got, I got a few more minutes. He works as just as much as she does. Exactly. Girl, shut up. So I, I found this post. Oh girl, Azalea Banks and, and Dolce are going back and forth, calling each other names, saying you too black and ugly and all of these things. I had said the other day that I wanted a Azalea Banks on that song with Dolce because Dolce gives me child of azalea banks you know what i'm saying the the everything just the everything everything the creativity the the way that she the way that she raps everything is just giving me azalea banks and i thought it would have been cute to have dochi jt and azalea banks on a song but girl they down here arguing azalea banks responds to jo to dochi and says you smoke menthol and have yellow teeth Dolce replies to Azalea Banks' comment saying that she should have made named her fans wannabes. The first time you came at me, I let it slide out of respect for my elders. It's not my fault you selling soap and I'm selling platinum records. She actually um, rhymed, I feel like, on that. Um, leave me alone, please. She's, Azalea Banks came back and said, you mean TDE paid the streaming farm to make a single, no even, to make a single, no even new existed go platinum to try and over exaggerate a semblance of importance or being vital to the music industry they clearly have not spent a dime of that money on you you smoke menthol menthols and have yellow teeth furthermore how ironic of you to mention bussy boy in such a homophobic manner uh, azalea banks you can't talk about it. The, the way you use really violent language towards groups of the group of to gay men you really do you really be talking to gay men crazy as hell but then also they be they are your largest fan base but you be talking to them crazy so calling somebody homophobic is wild coming out of your your violent ass mouth yeah i've been i've seen it i love azalea bank she's one of my problematic faves gemini down mercury siblings but girl you be talking crazy as hell to the gay folks. You do. Crazy. 
how ironic for you to mention Bussy Boy in such a homophobic manner. Meanwhile, your bozo ass label mates are sucking dick with gold fronts on. You must know that you are also dark, too dark skinned and ugly for anyone to believe that you're a victim here. So there's so much for that, for getting her on the song. They fighting child. I was like, girl, this is a mess. Okay, I found this post actually one of my friends he it was in his stories and i was like this is interesting it says men only let me go see what they talk about it says what is some the only reason why i was interested in what they were talking about because it said what's something on your wish what is something you wish women did more of you ready this should be fun it says, men only, ladies don't reply. If you do, I'm gonna delete your comment. Just read, you might learn something. I doubt it, highly doubt it, highly doubt it. <laughs> um, first comment says, I wish they did more polygamy type activities. Uh, here's someone else that says, pray for us, respect us, listen when given direction. <laughs> Be feminine, appreciate us when they have a good man, us, right? So he includes himself with that in that i told you these none of these niggas know any ain't they don't know any ain't shit niggas they don't they don't they all upstanding niggas they all upstanding girl this nigga said we like gifts too it does not have to be expensive either the thought really does count here's another one listen to understand not to respond oh what you mean i'm supposed to stay quiet after you say some dumb shit <laughs> I'm not supposed to say, nigga, that sounds dumb as hell. Shut your ass up. <laughs> Stop trying to look like girls on Instagram. Men feel you're more beautiful than you think. Oh, that's crazy. Read these comments and see what type of guys to stay away from. Just be more supportive and speak life into your man, girl. What the boys say? It's necromancy. Speaking life into death. That's that's the girl. Well, we can't do that especially the men like myself i told you i told you none of these niggas think they ain't shit i bet you it's a woman that i could find that this man has some kind of contact with that he gave her the motherfucking blues i bet you i can find her or two just be supportive and speak life into your man especially the men like myself they grind out every day to provide a home and keep you in a fly ride just a little baby thank you or bay you on your shit every now and then goes a long way girl so another nigga says, read the Bible. Yeah, I need for you guys to agree to this bullshit in here so I can have free labor and DNA duplication. Give compliments and then listen in all caps. Say what you mean and mean what you say. Be natural, nurturing, and, and a complimentary teammate. Allow men to be human. No man is hard. Listen to instructions like men only. The fact that some can't help themselves must respond because they got to get in their two cents okay find a man they want not the man they think they can change or the kind of man they want accountability that yeah, accountability and responsibility has y'all in the choke hold here's another one take accountability and responsibility for your actions that means they want you to take accountability for the state of the of men and how they relate to women they want you to take accountability for the way that they act right if they keep forcing this codependent idea that you and I belong in a relationship. So I need you to do this and I need you to do that. And I need you to do this and I need you to do that. And I need you to tell everybody that I'm the leader. I need, to, I need to be the one protecting the providing. I'd be looking at them intimate partner violence rates and I'm like, mm, the further away, the better. I feel, I feel safer the further away, the away you are. It says, listen and understand what's being said. Acknowledge men, they, they do good things instead of just complaining. Fully embrace their divine feminine energy. Be more vulnerable and not feel you can do everything by yourself. Treat men to gifts and surprises as well. Communicate well and be emotionally available. Somebody said, cook like grandma. Here's another one. Non snarky answer. Give men the freedom and grace to feel the full emotional spectrum without ridicule. Give men the space and grace to be vulnerable without getting the ick. And finally, make affection a practice rather than a reward. No, it's a, only a reward. Because if a motherfucker got to tell you what to do, you're a hell of a household, but she's giving out all the commandments. 
and everything you got to do. And she got to remind you to do this and remind you to do that and remind you to do that and do this and do that and do that and do that and do that and do that. And no, 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 a reward, not a practice. Knowing what they want to eat when we ask, practice what you preach. It doesn't matter what she does. It's really about what we do as a unit. Girl, let me say anything. Get to the point of the story quicker. Communication, be direct. Stop expecting men to read your mind. Tell a brother, I appreciate you. Have realistic standards. That means lower them to the ground because that's unrealistic. I can't reach up there. Y'all didn't put Russell Wilson up there. I can't reach up there. I want you to expect nothing but but dick from me, girl. <laughs> I think that's enough. Pay the bill for the place they picked up to eat at. Start wearing your ha real hair, whether it's short or long. No weaves, please. Tell the truth. Stick to the facts, not feelings. Held themselves accountable instead of giving every reason as to why they, they're not wrong when they are at times. Be themselves regardless of social norms. I wish they know when not to speak. Be actually what you expect your man to be. Do, do more of being feminine woman and stop trying to think. You know why women have to be masculine? Because men terrorize men, women, children. So I'm going to speak at your level because y'all think that masculinity is for men and femininity is for women. So I'm going to speak at your level and say, that's the reason why the men, women are acting like men is because the niggas are violent. Why would I put down my guard or put down my weaponry or put or take off my armor just to sit around you? When the stats say the closer I am to you, the more harmful you are to me. Because it's not the strangers who is around here doing crazy stuff, although now they're responding. That's why the girls need to get protection. Whatever type of protection you can get, whether I don't give a damn if it's just a fucking box cutter. Just get to slicing. The, don't worry about it. The razor blade know what to do. All it needs you, for you to do is to get to swinging. Get to swinging. Get to swinging. Get to swinging. Get, get to swinging. Instead of falling into your masculine, fall into your loco in la cabeza. Show these motherfuckers how crazy you are so they can back up off of you. When you're around men, don't drop your guard at all. Don't drop your guard at all. They are not to be trusted. The fuck? You no, know, but this last comment, the one that says allow men to have a full spectrum of emotions. Yes, I think that is a good, a good thing that men are asking women to allow us to have a full spectrum of emotion without making fun of us. There's another uh, tape out here with Kay Michelle talking about she doesn't like to see a man cry. Well, that's only reinforcing why they don't cry in front of you because they don't want you to see them any different than what they've created for you to see. So if you see this strong man who doesn't really access his emotion and that's masculine to you, then that's what he's gonna do. That's what he's gonna do. He, the, we are socializing these men to be this way. And then y'all reinforce it all the time. The way y'all use patriarchy to measure men while you don't want to use patriarchy on yourself is wild as hell. If you're going to use it to measure men, you got to make sure that you're using it to measure yourself. And you don't really like the rules of patriarchy because they don't benefit you at all. Down to the protection and provision, they don't benefit you at all. So while you telling men you need to do this, you need to be a protector and provider. You need to do this. You need to. I want you to release men from all the things that you think that they're supposed to do because you exist. The same way I tell these motherfuckers, just because they exist doesn't mean that they get to partner with women. Is the same reason I'm telling you, just because they exist doesn't mean they're here to do anything for you. Nothing for you. Nothing. Not protect. Not provide. Nothing. You're doing all the protecting. You're doing all the providing. You're doing all that. You want to rest in your femininity? Absolutely not. Resting in your, and, and a, as a matter of fact, feminine energy is going to guard. It's going to make sure who acts the craziest about their children and their cubs. Who does? When, some, when something's coming next to it, it's the mama acting wild and nuts. That's your baby. 
You're the protector. You're the provider. Stop looking to these men. Stop expecting anything out of them. Stop it. Stop. And then like this girl was saying on Twitter, how she tries to date out, but she feels like she's fetishized. Why can't black men get it together? And this and that. I said, listen, you are ladies. You are going to have to figure out a way. If you want men in your life, you are going to have to figure out a way to have them in your life without being romantically and intimately connected to men. If you must have them in your proximity, if you need men around you, you better find other ways to place them in relationship with you. It does not have to be intimate. It does not have to be romantic. You can set the standard for how men show up and how you have them around your in your life. And don't and don't take TD Jake's um um advice and create some fake ass need i gotta act like no ain't nobody acting dumb for you ain't nobody on team stupid with you you on team stupid on your own no this comment where he says um give men the full freedom and grace to feel emotional the emotional spectrum without ridicule i think that is that is the best advice that i've read all 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 on here to women all this other things that they have wear your natural hair or not. Nigga, shut the fuck up. Allow us to be emotional because y'all don't have any plans on developing and cultivating your emotional intelligence. You don't have no plan because for a lot of these women, all you need is a dick and to be, have some kind of heartbeat. That's all you need for a lot of these women. And they'll give you niggas a chance. They'll duplicate you niggas without even thinking about it. We have to get get the girls younger and younger and younger to deprogram them and tell them to be extremely selective with who they duplicate. You're doing the duplication. That's your baby. I don't give a damn if you've been married, if you're married or not. That keep your last name. Ain't no buying and selling women around here. We're not doing that. The children are yours. That's your baby. I got pissed. Shit. Let me go back to um, the Jasmine brand and see what's happening. Is I sponsored the, now yes. I sponsored the Let me tell you something. Cam Newton talks about having eight kids and wanting more. It's again, it's not about, it's very much an ego thing. I'm going to fertilize as many seeds as I can to make sure that it doesn't matter what I do, who I harm. It doesn't matter how I show up. I don't have to accomplish nothing. These women will keep duplicating me and duplicating me and duplicating me. They'll keep doing it. And then I can leave this earth knowing that I have 10 children, 15 children. The message to these girls should be very, be very selective who you duplicate. One, Two, that's your baby, married or not, that's your baby. Give your baby your last name. This patriarchal shit where you're taking men's last names and, and they are getting the opportunity to have offspring with their last name running around here and have done nothing and even more may have terrorized you. They are undeserving of partnership, undeserving of fatherhood, undeserving. They don't give a fuck about these kids. That's why they don't want to pay child support. They want the kids to be here, but they don't care about the kids. They don't care about you. Be mindful who you duplicate. That's all they want you for. Free labor. I'm in nature. Labor is feminine. Are you crazy? When, since when? Since when? That laboring around the house doing domestic duties is feminine. I thought you were supposed to be resting. I thought you were supposed to have your feet up. When did you becoming a maid be feminine? When did you becoming a mattress become feminine? When did becoming a mule became feminine? Huh? A medic, a mother, a manager. Who? When did all those things become feminine? Girl, shut the fuck up. That's all they want is DNA duplication. And the heifers are out here duplicating them over and over and over again while they terrorize you and show you that they are undeserving grossly undeserving of dna duplication let alone they don't even want to be fathers you can't even tell them you don't deserve fatherhood they don't care 
They don't want to be fathers. They just want to have duplications of them running around here. That's all. Hear what Cam Newton, Cam Newton, Cam Newton's hair looked like the back of a sheep's ass. Looked like the motherfucking cats and and squirrels been making nests and having a party in his damn head, looking like a damn fool out here. And y'all let letting, letting this nigga climb on this big ass nigga climb on top of you and duplicate him for nothing else but to duplicate him. Then you turn around and give your baby his last name. I'm getting a headache thinking about that dumb shit. Y'all going off on on um, Drea last week for having a bit for getting pregnant by a young athlete, but no shame for this nigga here running around. Let it be a woman sitting up here with eight kids by eight different niggas and see if everybody is jumping and happy and skipping and laughing and shit. Y'all will call her all kind of fucking whores, everything in the book, but her goddamn name. But these fucking men, male whores running around, populating the fucking earth with their raggedy ass, musty ass DNA, and you help them duplicate it. Have a baby, <laughs> man. Just man, come on, Damn. Hey, man. Look, but but this is what they this is what they say. What they say? Who say that? They, I don't know who they is because I'm gonna find them and put something on them. But people say okay, you having all these kids. I take care of all my kids. Yeah, yeah. See, that's the thing. Yeah, I always want. We'll find out when they're old enough to speak. When they no longer depend on you for for their survival, they will speak. And they will tell us, did you take care of them or did you just send some money to their mamas? I owe a service to loving them unconditionally, no matter what they do. And we have to co-parent together. How, how do you, because look, Cam, these women wanted to be with you. Mm. Let's be one, let's be all the way 1,000. Come on with it. These women wanted to be with you. Mm -hmm. Girl unzip his motherfucking zipper and put his cock on your tongue shannon god damn the previous like well, hold on what's special why she get to be with you now you done left me with five over here or two over here why she why she special well i'm gonna mess it up for you no you can't, <laughs> you can't it's, it's it's a respect right and we can't allow our personal vendettas to get in 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 between raising these children you see what i'm saying i do and did i want it to be this way when i was seven 12 years old i wanted to have a, a family I wanted to be married with a house and the picket fence and all that yeah because you saw your mother being emotionally terrorized by your fucking dad while he ran a church fucking everybody in the church we know the fucking story nigga six biologically through me right and i don't believe in stepchildren what my biological kids get everybody get i don't have no favorites i'm raising kings and queens and i have uncomfortable conversations with my children is your fucking hey is your smoking weed is your drinking no i don't i don't paddicate with that i'm very hands-on i i do go to football practice i do go to basketball practice track practice tennis practice because I want them to see what a positive male figure is in their life. I'm not just out here just slaying and leaving. No. I grew up in a three-parent household. So did what's her name have to give that car back? What's her name? The other woman with the children that you have babies with? Because, you know, Jazzy over there, I wonder if she's still healing Cam Newton with her butthole. Or has times changed since you got the baby now? Bro, just say you lack sexual discipline and move on. Right. Somebody said, now flip it. A woman had eight kids by several different men. The whole narrative shifts. Let me see what some of the replies to that is. Yes, having kids you take care of is different than having kids for a check. It's literally not different at all. He is creating broken homes. Furthermore, he can't provide all those kids the same amount of attention and emotional support with all these kind of different homes. Same with Nick Cannon. But they don't care about that. See, what we're saying, we are criticizing them for not showing up. They don't have no plans on showing up. They don't have no plans on doing nothing. They don't care. 
All they need for you to do is duplicate their DNA and they'll be on their way. But the state is in it now. That's why the men say what went down to RFK asking him to get rid of child support only affirming in this white man's head all these these niggas never want to take care of their fucking kids thanks for reaffirming the trope you dummy these niggas don't ever want to take and we got generations of evidence to prove it i don't give a fuck what a self-reported cdc study said you motherfucking niggas is lying and they only only surveyed about three thousand men something like that it's a very low number the cdc said the fathers are the most present shut that shit up Y'all lie about every single thing you do. If it's you a part of the story, you're going to make yourself bigger than what it ha what happened. You're going to exaggerate the truth to make you come out on top of the story. We know how you niggas tell stories. Look at history. Being fruitful and multiplying is beautiful, but not when you creating broken homes along the way, because not with any mom, with any of these moms. I appreciate his stance on children. He definitely dodged the question as to why the last mother gets the prize, him. Y'all, y'all, it's the women who need the programming. Y'all think these men are prizes. Like I said, y'all think you want to be in red. If you want to duplicate Cam Newton's DNA because he's an athlete and he's smart. I don't know. I don't know if he's intelligent. I don't know nothing about him besides his athletic abilities. That's all I know. And now he has a bunch of kids and now he's running around with his hair sticking out from the top of his hat, running around with tight jeans and fucking legs look like fucking two by fours girl i gotta go so stupid wasn't he just trying to take a car back from his last baby mama before jazzy that she needs for his kids exactly cam answer the question in the least messiest way possible i'm here for it none of you are special y'all some pick me's oh did you hear how shannon laid it out what makes the other one so special? They're all having the same dining experience, all of them, because the management hasn't changed. Why should the management change? It could have an F on the front door and you hoes is walking in there thinking you're gonna, that, that you're gonna switch the place up. Have you ever walked into a restaurant and your presence switched the place up, switched the service up? No, if everybody else it, before you has been complaining about the service, what kind of service do you think you're gonna get? You think you're so beautiful that you're going to get a different level of service? No, you're going to get the same exact service because the management has not changed. Why should it change? It has an F on the door. It has an F on the door. It's people walking out of here disgruntled and y'all still lining up to walk in the door to do what? To see if you going to do something different. See if you can change him. Oh, yeah, because they done trained y'all and socialized y'all to think that you can change these motherfucking men. And that somehow, some way, you're just you existing. You're so great. You're so great. You can change a man. Girl. You tell me how that's working for y'all out there who thought you can change a motherfucking man because you're so great. He had potential. You duplicated a nigga with potential. Hey, I'm not just talking to y'all. I'm talking to myself because I did the same fucking thing, girl. Isolated. In a different state. Duplicated some motherfucker undeserving of duplication. Undeserving of his own flesh. Yeah, I fucked up too. So the same energy I got for you, I got for me too. Trust me, I didn't beat myself, beat myself up enough. The only thing I didn't know that the damn restaurant, the management of the restaurant, I didn't have anything to go by. I didn't have anything to go by. But a lot of you women have stuff to go by. Y'all have witnessing, especially these public figures. That's why I give the girls grace because you meet these niggas, they isolate you. You don't know nothing about it. Their own motherfucking mamas would tell you, I wouldn't get with him. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have married him. Don't marry him. I would have told you not to, I would have told you not to have a baby with him. Their own mamas will tell you. Their own mothers will tell you. Because they know. So when you don't have anything to go by, I'm going to give you some grace. Like, 
Risa Tisa. She didn't have nothing to go by. You meet this man on a dating app, you don't know nothing about him. Then you get isolated with him. So now you're like, oh, I got this part. I think he's so great. He's a fucking liar. Been lying to you the whole time. Hello, I'm getting a call. Yes, my brother, girl, lying to you the whole time. And you think you done got you a prize because you, you also a pick me. That's the only reason why you walking into that restaurant because you're a pick me. And you think somebody's going to pick you. They're going to pick you and wear your ass out. You're going to wear you the fuck out, wear your pockets out, wear your hair out, wear your weight out, wear your mental health out. They're going to wear you out and suck you dry. And it's always when a woman's fed up because the nigga's going to stay as long as you will allow him to suck on you, to suck from you, to extract from you. As long as he can find a host stupid enough to duplicate and to suck dry and y'all running around here wanting to be picked by these motherfuckers. And then, and then when it's all said and done, you give your baby his last name. Especially if a motherfucker's been terrorizing, girl, cut the shit. I'm telling you, this patriarchal bullshit, taking a man's last name, all that dumb shit. Shout out to the women who are married to men and did not change their last name. Shout out to y'all who are hyphenating your children's name. Shout out to y'all. If you didn't do it and you just coming into this awareness, don't beat yourself up. A lot of girls didn't know my children's names are hyphenated. A lot of the girls didn't know. A lot of the people don't know. They're, oh, give the, give the son, give the children his last name. No, fuck that. He don't deserve shit. You, that's your baby. That's your baby. I wouldn't give them the satisfaction. Especially if they're not taking care of the baby. Especially if they're not. If they're taking care of then you can put their name in there somewhere. But make sure your name is there. That's your goddamn baby. Whatever your maiden name, if you done taken a man's last name, it's too late. I mean, it's never too late to change it back because a divorce could change it back. You don't really need a divorce to go back and say, you know what? I actually want to change my name back to my maiden name. Put it in the paper. Change your name back. Shit. Your children hyphenate their names. This motherfucker ain't done nothing. Did you come when he shot the club up and, and, and impregnated you? Did you have an orgasm? If you didn't have an orgasm the day you conceived, he definitely don't deserve no, but no name on that baby hell no you didn't do nothing you didn't do nothing i gotta go y'all take care of each other y'all had long videos this week stop letting these niggas play in your face some niggas said that let me read you one comment before we go you know i like to put the niggas on the summer jam screen and get them together real quick <sighs> these women are not god fearing at all jaw's plan is jaw man woman child jaw created woman rib for man body from man to be help meet a woman bride comes to a man groom to be one body the rib returns to the body and is groomed by the man we are not equal i said why would i fear god i am god i come from god i am an extension of source energy you started out as female you came from a female a female created you you are a mutation of the xx our decisions as female can choose to have your line in with you you are right we are not equal go build something and make your fucking self useful Take care of each other. Peace.